three things to show off, and you guys get to choose which one you want me to try. So I have these Kit Kats that I got on sale. That's why I got them. Because <laughs> these are normally like $10, I think, 10 or $12 and they, they discounted it down to like two dollars so i was like yeah i'll take it at two dollars why not so these are um, a flavor based on a japanese sweet treat called uh momanji manju mom mom moiji moiji manju <laughs> which is kind of like a uh, it's like a red bean filled um cake kind of flavor so there's that. I also have some of these crazy weird chocolates. One is uh, matcha and the other is uh, hojicha, hojicha, uh, tea, hojicha. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think I am, hojicha. So there's those chocolates. And I have some uh, sakura uh, paki. And these are different than the Sakura Matcha Paki, which is these ones. And these are incredibly delicious, but these are different. These are just Sakura, so not, not any um, matcha flavor. So of the, of the three, which one should I try? Which one should I try? Should I try the... Japanese confection Kit Kats, the the Sakura Paki, or should I try the tea flavored um, chocolates? I guess I can do a poll. I haven't done a poll in a long time. Oh crap! I have to find the. Um, I gotta find the, the poll um, site. Ah, okay. Okay, so which snack should I try? So we got the Kit Kat, um, Pocky. And chocolates. That's right, yeah. Yeah, which one should I try? And in the chat you can uh you can use the number to vote. It looks like we have some people voting for the Pocky. Which is good because um, I actually want to try that one because <laughs> I love the I love the matcha um, the sakura matcha paki a lot and they they have them on sale right now so I've been getting like a ton of them um, which is great so cool. So yeah, so vote. What you what do you want me to try? So it looks like this is in the lead right now, which is the Sakura Matcha Paki. And it looks like, judging from the back, <laughs> that there's like it's made with salt, butter, and sakura. <laughs> okay. We've had three people vote for the the Paki. I think it's pretty I think it's pretty clear that that is the winner. So we're gonna go ahead with the Pocky. I'm glad you guys chose this one because secretly this is the one that I wanted to try. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad that you guys are on the same wavelength as me. Um, as you can see, the, the packaging is kind of nice. Kind of opens up and you have these, these individual individual packaged Pockies with the clear packaging. Very, it has like Sakura flowers on it. Very pretty. All right, let's see. So it is a Pocky with a Sakura like icing on it. Hmm. 
Interesting. So this is completely different than the Sakura Matcha. The main difference being, as you can see, the Pocky itself is like a normal kind of pretzel Pocky with a Sakura kind of icing on it. Whereas the Sakura Matcha Pocky, the actual like Pocky end, like the, the stick itself, is like Sakura, uh, it's like a Sakura like cookie. And then they have, it's, they have the icing, the icing um, chocolate is matcha. So this one is a little bit more savory because like they mentioned on the box, they have like, they use a lot of some sort of salt. <laughs> and so I'm, I am getting like a salty taste. So it is a little bit more savory than this this one. This one is very sweet because the Sakura pretzel part is, is very sweet and then the matcha is very sweet. So this one is, is good though, I like it. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. If I were to choose between the two, I think I like the matcha one just a little bit better uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I love matcha. I, I just think matcha is delicious. Two, I like the combination of the kind of like the matcha flavor and then the like super sweet kind of cookie part. Whereas in this one, because the cookie part is, is not sweet, it's... Um, yeah, it's like a little bit more, like like I said, like sweet and savory. And I think for some people that may be a selling point. I know a lot of people don't like a lot of super sweet stuff. So I think if you're the type of person that doesn't necessarily want something super sweet, but you want a little bit of sweetness, then I think you would like this a lot. Yeah, it's good though. It's definitely, it's definitely tasty. I like it. Do you guys like Pocky? Do you guys, are you able to find Pocky where you're from? Do they sell it in like, eat in grocery stores? What does Sakura taste like? It's really hard to describe. Mostly because all of these Sakura stuff that I've tried has been in like, um, either like a little steamed cake or this Pocky, or like a latte. And so I'm trying like things that artificially taste like Sakura. So it's hard for me to really describe what it tastes like because I haven't really tasted like pure Sakura, if, if you know what I mean. My comparison would be like, if you were to talk to somebody who has never eaten a banana, but they've only eaten like banana flavored candy, you know, like they've only eaten like banana runts and like, um, like banana ice cream or whatever, like banana, like chocolate. And so, um, it'd be hard to like, kind of to get a gauge of like what banana tastes like if you haven't had like an actual, like physical banana. So, um, But I will say that um, not so much on this, but in this, and I had these Sakura, these Sakura cookies with like a, a filling in them. The, uh, um, I can't pinpoint what it tastes like. Like I can't really describe it, but I will say that the taste is nostalgic to me. Like it, it, and I, it tastes like, um, how do I say this? So when I was a kid, um, I come from a Jewish family and my mom used to work at a, a, a temple. It's like kind of like a church, a synagogue or whatever. 
And when I was there, I remember I would eat these like these these cookies. And okay, I think I know what I'm trying to describe now. They're kind of like there are these cookies. I think they're they also Mexican cookies, maybe. Um, because you know how like Mexic in like a uh, Mex Mexico and a lot of Mexican cuisine, they have a lot of like really pretty, colorful cookies. Um, when I lived in San Francisco, uh, we had a, we had a Mexican neighborhood called the Mission, and there are a lot of shops that sold these like really I I don't know the correct term for them, but these really pretty incredibly tasty cookies and some of them are like kind of sh short bready and they're kind of crumbly but uh, i don't know i don't know how to describe it but for whatever reason the like sakura cookie part tastes like those cookies that i used to have when i was a kid so i have like this very nostalgic kind of a um sensory or sense to them i don't know <laughs> what do i say basically I really like them because they remind me of my childhood. However, the Sakura on these don't taste like that, so I don't know. I really don't. So you're saying that you have a strawberry. I've tried a banana flavor. Do you mean banana flavor Pocky? Or just like banana flavor in general? Because I, I actually like banana flavored things. <laughs> I know some people are like, ew, banana flavored candy, gross. But like, I, I don't know. I kind of like banana flavored things. <laughs> so I like bananas. Bananas are good. I used to make a amazing banana bread. Um, I'm not trying to brag, but like my banana bread was super good. I put coconut in it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Banana flavor Pocky. Really? Was it good? It sounds good. I eat it. You see, there's a, these are salty. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I like it. I'm curious about these, just because um, I, I think I may have tried these before. I'm not sure. I sometimes forget like all of the Kit Kat flavors that I try, but um, they sell. Like, there's a lot of different flavors that are sold in this kind of packaging, and they're meant primarily for tourists, which is why they're so expensive <laughs> and why I never get them. But um, unless they're like stupidly on sale. <laughs> Oh, you tried, you tried these, Deborah? And you didn't like them? Now I'm curious. Oh, you did try them. Oh no, you didn't like them, huh? Was it too red beany to you? <laughs> look, how, look how fancy the packaging is. Well, I'll try it. I'll try these, why not? Because these tend to have a very, um, they had a variety pack of mini, really a variety pack. Where'd you get that? So I will try these. And these Kit Kats are interesting because unlike normal Kit Kats, which are two vertical Kit Kats, these have this like weird design where it's like kind of connected and they have like a design in the center. Hmm. Hmm. They're okay. You can definitely taste the red bean. I would say it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. The, the any any of the Kit Kats in these boxes are like. 10 bucks. It's like too expensive. Mm. Yeah. Verdict? 
Mm. Mama. So, so. Have a good night, Sherry. See you later. It's okay. I'm about to stop. Yeah, these are okay. These are just like, it has a very distinctive red bean flavor, which is not surprising considering that's what it's supposed to have, supposed to taste like. Um, it's pretty good. It's okay. It is, it is not my favorite Kit Kat flavor. If these did not cost $2, um, I definitely would not buy them. And I don't, do not plan to buy them ever again <laughs> because they're, they're not that good. Um, there were green ones that you like better. The green ones are most likely matcha. I mean, I would, or green tea. What well, matcha is green tea? What am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that was stupid. Um, yeah, matcha, matcha Kit Kats are delicious. However, um, a lot of people don't know this, but there's actually like, there's actually like several different matcha Kit Kats. Um, and they range from like, from sweet to bitter. So I think there's like a, a, a normal one, which is like super sweet, which is my favorite, obviously, because I like sweet things. And then there's like an intermediate one, which is like, kind of sweet but not too sweet and then they have one which is so insanely stupidly bitter that it's almost for me unedible and when I first moved here to Japan I bought the sweet matcha ones and they were super delicious and I immediately wanted more and so when I went to the store I went to go buy more matcha Kit Kats. And the ones I found, um, I picked them up and I bought them, not realizing that when I bit into it, it was not the super sweet one that I remembered. It was the incredibly bitter, disgusting uh, version that I actually ended up picking up. And so uh, I was very sad. So yeah. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful which matcha Kit Kat you buy. Now I know. I know which ones are the bitter ones. Um, and so I stay far, far, far away from them. But uh, yeah, yeah, you got to be careful. But if you get the good ones, though, the the, the good matcha ones are, are super delicious. And I'm really sad because there is this um, drugstore in Harajuku that used to sell them for super cheap. Uh, it used to be like a buck fifty for a bag, and they're normally like three bucks or something. And so I would always go to the store, and they would always have it for super cheap. But then, for whatever reason, they just stopped selling it. So I have not been able to find the matcha Kit Kats for super cheap since then and so i don't get them anymore which i'm really bummed about so but what can you do it's okay it's okay because i i've been like i said these have been discounted like crazy they're like uh like 150 right now um so i've just been getting those just been getting a bunch of those and so i pretty much my my snack purchases are pretty much primarily based on what's discounted <laughs> because I'm like, I refuse to pay full price for anything. Um, and so I, I'm like, I'm, I'm okay waiting for a good sale or a good discount. Um, the only time that I buy something at full price is when it's like some weird Kit Kat flavor that is so enticing that I just have to try it. Um, I think the last time that happened was the, the um, they had a, 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 uh, a, like ice cream flavored Kit Kat that the packaging just like some, it was like a siren's call. I'm like, I'm like, oh, fine. I'll go, I'll, I'll try these ice cream Kit Kats. And I ended up just kind of being disappointed by them. I was like, that's it. Oh man. So 
But yeah, now I now I wait. I'm like, I'll, if I see a discount, if it's on sale, I'll pick it up. 